Hello grade 7 students. In this video we're going to explain respiration of living beings, uh, precisely respiration in humans. The objectives of this video are to identify organs involved in human respiratory system, to define exhalation and inhalation, to list the pathway of air during inhalation and exhalation, and finally, to compare the mechanism of respiratory movements. As an introduction, you know that we all need to breathe. Why do we breathe? We breathe in order to have the oxygen gas we need to stay alive. So all living things, including uh, living things on land or in water, need oxygen gas to survive. Living things acquire needed oxygen gas through a process called respiration, or as you know it, called breathing. Respiration consists of two phases, which are inhalation and exhalation. To start our lesson, we must recall some information about a human respiratory system. Human respiratory system is made up of two parts. The first part is called the respiratory tract, which consists of passages through which air enters and leaves your body. It is made up of two nasal cavities located inside your nose, the pharynx, which is a common pathway between your digestive system and your respiratory one, the larynx, the trachea, which is a tube-like structure, two bronchi, which divide into many branches called bronchioles. The second part of your respiratory system consists of two lungs where exchange of gases takes place. You must take into consideration that exchange of gases takes place at the level of your lungs only through bag-like structures at the end of each bronchiole which are called alveoli. Here are the alveoli. Finally, we move to the diaphragm, which is a muscle which lies beneath your lungs. It is involved in breathing and separates your digestive system from your respiratory one. As I mentioned before, respiration process consists of two phases, which are inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation is when you breathe in air which provides your body with the needed oxygen gas. Inhalation has another name which is inspiration. While exhalation, also called expiration, is the process where you breathe out air which is rich in carbon dioxide which is a waste product of respiration process. Now we will study the pathway or direction of air during respiration process. First we will, we will start with the inhalation phase also called inspiration. During inhalation air enters through your nasal cavities, then it moves down to your pharynx, then to your larynx, and then it goes down through the trachea to reach the two bronchi and then it enters each bronchiole to reach the alveoli. As I said, the alveoli are the parts of your respiratory system which are located inside your lungs and are responsible for the gas exchange. During the exhalation process, also called expiration, the air goes in opposite direction. It moves from your alveoli, then to your bronchioles, to the bronchi, then to the trachea, to the larynx, then the pharynx, and finally it goes outside your body through your mouth. So how are these respiratory movements manifested? Inhalation and exhalation are manifested through the action of your chest and are controlled by your ribs, which are parts of your thoracic cage and by your diaphragm. 
When you inhale in air rich in oxygen gas, your chest expands, it moves up. Your thoracic cage increases in volume since your lungs will be filled up with the inhaled air. And your diaphragm contracts and moves downward. While when you exhale air rich in carbon dioxide, your chest contracts, it moves down. Your thoracic cage decreases in volume since the air which filled up your lungs during inhalation will be expelled outside your body. And finally, your diaphragm relaxes and moves up. These videos will show you how your chest, your thoracic cage and your diaphragm act during expiration and inspiration. You notice during inhalation your chest will move up while during exhalation it will be lowered down. In the second video you notice how your thoracic cage increases in volume and then it decreases in volume during expiration and how your diaphragm contracts and relaxes. Finally, this is a table which shows you a comparison between inhalation and exhalation. During inhalation, your thoracic cage is raised and it increases in volume, while during exhalation, it is lowered and decreases in volume. Your lungs inflate during inhalation since they will be filled up with air while during exhalation they deflate since the air will be expelled outside your body. During inhalation oxygen flows in through your nose and during exhalation carbon dioxide flows out.